President Msevena arrived at Buhinga Stadium in Fort Port amid a heavy downpour where residents and government officials had converged to witness the commissioning of Kabaroli Kamwingi Highway. In his address to the local population, Museveni revealed that he plans to sanction a probe on both judicial and government officers who connive with landowners to inflate costs of compensation in areas where government intends to build roads. Corrupt people who have been delaying government projects and extorting incredible amounts of money in collusion with the corrupt officials in the government and maybe even in the judiciary, even in the judiciary, why would a judge give a character one billion for one acre in a rural area? Why? Because we know the price of land in all these places. Seven told locals that out of the 21 acres of land that he gave up for road construction in Kisozi Mpiji district, the property was valued at 69 million shillings and wondered why people with less land want billions of shillings in compensation. He can be named Bangambele Mujenet Bamuhele Million Nkagana Mwen Bisango Bakama Million Nkagana Mwen Yazanga Huri Seven accused those involved in the campaigning the Constitutional Amendment Bill of harboring a sinister agenda to sabotage government projects. If passed into law, the bill will grant government powers to give private land to investors and later compensate the owners. Nobody should go on the radio and tell lies about the plans of the country. Distort them. Even if it is a radio, it should report peacefully in a balanced way. The president, who is on a nationwide sensitization radio campaign, says he's ready to use other means to fight government critics. They were using the radios, exciting the people, saying that the, 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 the government is the one who wants to steal their land, yet they are, the, they are the big thieves, these ones here. So I have now opened a, a verbal law on them. But I'm ready also to use other weapons on them. Because anybody who does not, he implored communities to rely on the newly constructed highway for economic empowerment. This road now must be used to transport wealth, not transport poverty. The construction of the highway cost 129 billion shillings. The World Bank, which partly contributed to the construction, had initially halted the project after sexual exploitation scandal involving workers of the contractor, which was barbing below the radar, came to surface. Aaron Mukama, NTV Weekend Edition.